John, a uh, frustrating defeat on non-league day. Just your take on the one 0 loss uh, at home to Southport. Yeah, really frustrating. I think um, we started the game first five ten minutes on the front foot, looked looked good, and then um, probably 10, 15 minutes in, you know, um, we, we we slacked off and they got a grip to the game. You know, frustrated us a lot. I think um, we didn't keep the high energy like we did start the game first 10 minutes. And uh, half time, you know, we just said to the players, listen, you know, they're a hard te team to break down, got to be more patient, got to move the ball quicker, got to get the ball wide into wide areas, up to Kulo and Jake and midfield runners, you know, from Kieser and Walsey going more central um, or getting the ball out wide to the full backs. But um, second half, you know, probably started the game all right. First five minutes again, and then you know um, they frustrated us again. We had a couple of half chances, and then obviously they, they scored on the counter attack from from our set piece. I think it's it's a it's a poor goal to concede. I think a couple of decisions we made wrong, and you know they broke, which is what they do as a team, and scored the goal, and then you know frustrated us for the rest of rest of the game. You know we tried to change things up. Changed formations a couple of times, sent the big man up towards the end, you know, to try, try and get a bit of height in there, but we couldn't break him down. I think our decision making in the final third was poor today. You know, um, the right pass, the right cross, the right cut back, the right um, shot, you know, or shooting when we probably should have passed, or passing when we should have been shooting, and um, it just didn't work out for us today. I imagine there are quite a few disappointed faces in the dressing room as well on what has been quite a special day for the club. It, it's just a shame that the players just haven't managed to, to bring the three points home. Yeah, it's, it's been an incredible day for the club, you know, great exposure for the town of Scarborough. I think, um, you know, we obviously wanted to win to make it even an extra, uh, an extra special day, but it wasn't to be. Listen, we know what Southport are all about, we told the players before the game. You know, they're a hard working team, organised and disciplined, don't concede many goals. Um, but the, the main thing we said to the players is you can't concede sloppy goals because once they go a goal up, they, 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 you know, you can't break them down. The, 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 the stats suggest that and, um, you know, um, I know the manager quite well. He's, um, he's been in, around the league a long time, very experienced and he knows how to shut up shop and uh, I thought their players did that really well. Uh, put the bodies on the line, got edit headers, uh, you know, blocks in, and like I said, frustrated us. Um, we didn't have the quality to break them down. We didn't have the patience to break them down. Um, but like you, you know, I said earlier, I think um, the biggest thing for us, we didn't want to concede, and uh, that was the ma major point we said to the players before the game, and we did. And then you know we didn't have the quality to break them down and, and get that goal back. And uh, the boys are very deflated in there, but. I said to him, listen, you can't be deflated, that's football, you know, um, you know, you're going to get games like this, you've got to bounce back straight away, tough game next week, you know, everyone's fighting for their lives, you know, or trying to get points to get into the playoffs or trying to stay in the playoffs, so every game matters, I think a few results have gone okay for us today, so we're still, you know, two points in with a game in hand, so... You know, um, it's going to be a challenging next seven games. You know, obviously Luke, losing Luca um, to the end of the season is a massive blow. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we might have some good news next week. Getting um, Kieran McGuckin back um, for next weekend, which will be a massive boost. And then hopefully, maybe ten days to two weeks time, we we should get Tom Taylor back, which will be a massive boost as well. So we're just going to try and pick the boys up this week. We'll train Tuesday and Thursday and prepare for next Saturday and lift the spirits a bit and um, you know try and play the next seven games as a cup final and uh, hopefully you know try and get as many points as we can. So there are no fresh injury concerns I know today was quite a, a fierce game and, and it's exactly what you'd expected from them but you know I guess that is a little bit of a positive that there's no one that's come off with a with a nasty injury. Yeah it's a positive because we've had some a lot of injuries over the last you know a few weeks you know we're, we're missing Will Fortin and missing Watto Obviously, Kieran McGuckin got injured four weeks ago. Dom Tia, you know, similar time. Uh, Luca, disappoint for him because you know um, he's a massive player for us, and you know to break it so and be out for like six, seven weeks, which kills your season really. So really disappointed with that. And uh, it'd be nice, like I said, it'd be nice to get Kieran back next week because he's 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 a very good young player, and brings lots of energy to to his game for us. So it'd be good to get him back in the team. 
uh, all around it. And then hopefully Dom as well, who's you know um, got quite a few goals for us this year as well, and another similar kind of player, you know, high energy, can run all day. Um, so that'll be a good boost as well. Uh, no injuries today, which is good. So um, onwards and upwards, and hopefully you know um, we can pick the boys up and we can give it a good go in these next seven games. Yeah, you touched on the game on Saturday, back on the road at Kettering. Another really tough game, another side that's going to be fighting for, for the points, but an opportunity for potentially, if results go your way, the chance to distance yourself from the chasing pack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, um, it's weird, it's a weird league because uh, at the moment we probably haven't performed to our best the last three or four games, and but everyone seems to be slipping up, so... Um, I just said to the players, sometimes it happens in football, you've got to try and take your opportunities when they come around. Um, it's still in our own hands and we've got to make sure we, we deliver. Um, you know, it's been a good you know, season so far. You know, like I've mentioned a few times, a lot of people thought we were going to get relegated, but we've been up and around the playoffs most of the season. So it would be absolutely dreadfully disappointing if we, we don't make them playoffs. And I think the players deserve it, especially you know being the first year in this league. But you've got to earn the right. You've got to earn the right to be in the playoffs. You've got to beat the opposition that come to your home ground. Especially teams like Southport. No disrespect to them. The the the, the good, organised, disciplined team. But you know they're not world beaters. Um, but like most teams in this league, I think anybody can beat each other on the day. So you just got to turn up every single game. Cheers, Jonah.